Hello my good people, welcome to my YouTube channel like Usha Waiji Pata in a situation you have an ATM KCB ATM or you have an account with KCB and you want to withdraw cash or you want to deposit then you don't have anywhere to withdraw the bank is far away from you the main branch is far away from you or a branch let's say any branch is far away from you you don't know anywhere to withdraw then all of a sudden boom you bump into a kcb mtaani agent how do you handle the situation how do you handle the situation yeah that kcb mtaani agent that's what we want to talk about a kcb mtaani agent what do they do and how can you become a KCB Mtani agent? Yeah, welcome to my channel. It's your girl, the real Belinda Ogaya. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for the 17 subscribers. Ooh. So KCB as a whole have decided to make it easier for the customers and brought the KCB agents. These are people who have been used to come simplify your needs and solve them. The services that the KCB Mtani agent will offer to you are the same services that you will get in the bank. Yeah, I think most of them are the services you will go to get in the bank. Just a few, maybe just a few, one, two, three, maybe going to get an ATM, yeah, something like that. But most of the services are offered by the agents. So what are these services that agents do offer? Like cash withdrawal, when you have an ATM, the agents are always offered a machine, a KCB machine. So when you have an ATM, you, you withdraw cash from your ATM and then they give you cash. Yeah. Another thing, when you don't have an ATM but you have the, the bank account, you can go nowadays, they've made it easier. You go to an agent, the agents have agent codes. You go to your account. You withdraw, you go to an option of withdraw, you'll be given an option. Okay, for if you are using your phone, you'll be given a, an option to withdraw. Then you'll be requested to actually dial a code. The agent will give you a code, then you will withdraw your cash. That is if you don't have an ATM. But if you have an ATM, you just withdraw directly from the machine. Yeah, the second point that the this KCB Mtani agents do is cash deposit. You come with the cash you want to save your money in your account. They they deposit it to you into your account. Then they give you a receipt. When uh, the machine produces two receipts, there is this customer receipt and an agent receipt. The first receipt that will be produced it depends with the machine that the agent is using. Some machines bring the agent receipt first but some bring the customer receipt. but most of them bring the customer receipt first so you are given your receipt after the cash has been deposited to your account you are given the cash then an agent returns the agent receipt yeah and then the third thing fee payment those schools that have opened account with kcb they are allowed to those students are allowed to come and pay school fees through you so that they, you have an account number or they come with a school account number. Then you deposit the cash to the school account. You give them a receipt. That receipt is what they'll take to school. Yeah. It's this myth about agents that if an agent pay the fee for, if an agent pays school fees, it won't reflect. That's a myth. Actually, we've been paying so many school fees, but I've never encountered that problem. Maybe if it was just an error or something else, but it's a rare case, by the way. Agents nowadays are allowed to pay fee. Most schools allow it. As long as they've opened an account with KCB, they do allow that service to be done by an agent. KCB Mta any agent can open an account for you. That is maybe you are you are far away from the main branch and you have you want to have a KCB or you want to be one of them KCB members here. You want to have an account. This KCB Mtani agents do open accounts for clients. You are only required to go there with your ID, national ID, your um, phone number. Maybe you want to link your account with your phone, through your phone. You want to access your account through your phone. And then ID, phone number, and carry pin. They'll take a photo of you. Yeah. And they'll open for your account. You will access your account 
maybe through the phone but if you want atm you will go to the main branch there you will access your your atm from there you point number four you have an atm you've been saving and you don't know how much is in your account or you've been withdrawing and you don't know how much you have you can go to an agent with your ATM. They insert the ATM in the machine and check your balance. You can access your balance from there. They produce a receipt. Some machines don't produce a receipt, but will show you your balance. Yeah. So these people also can check your balance anytime you want. Yeah. And then there is this. What else? Rent payment. The the KCB Mtani agent also can pay rent. Maybe your landlord has a KCB account. You can just pay rent through that account and then maybe you take a photo of receipt and send them or just go with the receipt. Yeah. Another strong point, this KCB Mtani agents they do this service called Inua Jami. The Inua Jami services is are done either in the bank or by the agent. And what is the Inua Jami service? Ile pesa ya waze. Ile pesa waze wanapata. Kuna pesa ingine huwa waze wanapata maybe after two months. Nini. Yeah. So that cash. Those people with disabilities pia huwa wanapata salary. Wanatlipwa. I don't know if it's a salary ya nini but they they are always paid. Iyo pesa, kama hako na account ya KCB, alifungua account yake ya KCB, ndiyo pesa ikuwe ikikuja through that account. The KCB, hakuna haja shosh ama guka mpeleke kwa bank mbali na kuna KCB mtani agent hapa. Those people do those services. Unless kama ni fingerprints na iyo machine ya ya accept fingerprints ndiyo mnaizaenda kwa bank. Yeah. Then kuna this point that maybe unataka kujua how you've been using your cash ama when you may withdraw pesa. It's called a mini statement. Ya unaiza tolewa maybe the, the last five transactions in you mefanya from your card. Unaiza enda kwa agent aike kadi yako kwa machine and then they produce a receipt itakuonyesha how you've been spending your money ama withdrawal. Singapu mefanya deposit. Singapu mefanya. So it allows you to Access your mini statement. So, the KCB Mtani agent can do that job. Don't underrate those people. They do those things. There is this transfers. Mtu anatoa pesa from your account to maybe I have a KCB I have a KCB account. You have a KCB account. I want to transfer money from my account to your account. Yeah. A KCB agent can do that. Yeah. They also do that stuff. I think those are the points. The last point we've said fee payment, cash deposits, cash withdrawals, in Wajami, balance inquiry, mini statement, uh, what else? Account opening, um, bank transfers, cash transfer from, an, from one account to another. And then there is this bill payment. Kuna payment, maybe unataka kulipa tokens or you want to pay DSTV, Zuku, Star Times, yeah, they do those services. So, any of the services mentioned, kama unataka, those guys wanafanya those services. An agent one day, and maybe you are wondering what are the requirements, yeah. Requirement number one is have a bank account with the KCB, with the KCB. Go open an account as the first step. Then step number two, have two colored passports. Yeah, two colored photo size. Yeah, then have a certificate of good conduct. Go, you can access a certificate of good conduct maybe from Huduma Center. Go access that certificate. Have it with you. Yeah. And then make sure you have an existing business that maybe has been operating operating for at least at least 12 months yeah a business that has been operating or existing for at least 12 months 12 months if you have all this you have a passport size a pass, colored passport you have an account you have good conduct you have care pin you have business license and then you have an existing business that okay you can put there a machine maybe you have an impressor maybe you have an you have a shop maybe you have a boutique 
any business that is, has been existing for at least 12 months if you have all this you go fill a form in the main branch they'll help you from there the customer care desk will help you on the way forward on what to do next actually so guys thank you for the subscribers actually i'm happy my videos commenting i really appreciate yeah, seven subscribers, seven subscribers so far. i love the progress i hope the content is always helpful to you actually give me a thumbs up so that the video can be recommended to another person that i can reach yeah and thank you for supporting me expect more videos from me most of business related <laughs> most of business related videos yeah bye bye